एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Have you got your team in your head yet? Eleven or twelve? We haven't at the minute. Um, we're going to you know, take our time with the the limited information we have on this ground on pink ball cricket. We're going to make sure we we give ourselves as much information as possible going into the game before we make that decision. What are your main considerations at the moment? I think having a real good understanding of what this pitch might look like tomorrow morning, um, and you know, ahead of that first ball, it's changed quite drastically over the last few days. Is Probably been a bit more live grass um, than than previous wickets that we've seen out here, um, but it has it has got drier and drier as the as the days have gone, as you'd expect it to. So it's just having real clarity on what balance of attack we want, um, and and as well utilising this practice tonight, um, you know, seeing how much dew might play and uh, how how big a factor that might be in you know in this test and you know whether that alters things at all. So is it fair to say you're considering playing an extra seamer then, in, and that's the decision you've got to make? I think there's a few things, yeah. Um, that's certainly been one of them. How's Jofra Archer? Is he fully fit and firing now? Yeah, again, it'd be good to get through uh, training tonight to have absolute clarity. But it's great to see him back, um, back bowling again. You know, he he adds to what is a very strong bowling group. Um, you know, very much a, a big part of of what we're. About and um, about England cricket moving forward, so to see him back in in amongst things would be very exciting, and hopefully, you know, he, he is fit up for selection. Yeah, well, if the pink ball is doing a bit and he is fit, it'd be very difficult to leave him out, wouldn't it? Yeah, as as mentioned, you know, he is world class performer. He's got all of the skills. Um, he can bowl high pace, swing it both ways, and and obviously can make it talk off the seam as well. So, um, you know, along with the rest of the guys all in contention, it's. It's a very exciting place to be, and you know, to have now a, a battery of fast bowlers to choose from is is where we want to be and where we want to you know keep improving moving forward. Could you just talk us through the situation with that top order with with Zach and Johnny both available again? I think, um, and and sort of where Rory's form is at, and and Dan Lawrence as well. Yeah, I think it's a great headache to have these two guys back in and in, in the fold and available for selection. So. Um, you know, it's it's been a tricky tour for our batters. It's it's been very alien conditions. It's been a lot of learnings that's been going on, and I think the guys have responded well to that. They're trying to develop all the time, trying to keep improving, um, and adding to what are very good games um, that have had success in in the Test arena so far. So that's the thing that I'm looking at more than anything. Of course, we're here to win and we're here to produce results. But you know, if you're trying to build a team over a long period of time. You need to keep looking to get better and adding things all the time. And the, the attitude that the group have shown in that respect has been been outstanding. So long may that continue. Um, you know, we we have got some difficult decisions to make, but these are headaches that we didn't have a year or so ago as well. And um, you know, that's testament to this the hard work that these guys have put in. Is it uh, is it particularly difficult for left-handers in these conditions with Ashwin and that and that rough outside their off stump? Yeah, well, he's a world-class performer. Um, you know, I think it's been it's been quite tricky for everyone, but as you mentioned, in particular, the lefties against against him because you know of how skillful he is, how good his record has been against uh, against our left-handers, and well, in, in world cricket, his record against left-handed batters. So, um, you know, he's a fine performer at home, and and guys just have to keep working hard to try and figure out how they're going to score their runs. I think one thing that I I watched how he played Leachy, for example, in the previous game. Um, and scoring that hundred, how he used the crease to his advantage, not just coming down the wicket, but also getting deep in his crease and trying to make it very hard for Jack to bowl one length in. Um, you know, trying to make mix his length up all the time. I think we've got to keep being proactive, being smart about how we're going to look to score our runs and and really make it difficult for for their spinners to to you know to bowl six balls at us. As I mentioned previously, when we've spoken to you, I think that's one thing that they did well, and one thing that we could have improved with the ball was. The amount of times that um, we couldn't quite string a maiden together or bowl six balls at one batter, um, which I, I think they were very proactive with their batting. They managed to rotate strike very well. Um, so they're all things that we can take forward as a batting group and that we can add to our own games and make it a little bit more tricky for them when um, you know when we come to bat next time. Broad and Anderson have not played a test match together so far this winter. And Jimmy was telling us two days ago that it has crossed their mind that they might not play game together ever, particularly overseas. Um, 
Does that cross your mind? Do you think they're done as a, as a pairing, particularly overseas? I, I think you'd be wrong to ever write off those two to do anything. Um, you know, the records that they've had, the things that they've produced, especially in the last couple of years, has been, well, it's a reason why they're, they're up there with the top three bowlers in the world. They're you know, consistently getting better. The older they get, they're, they're using their experience um, to their advantage all of the time. And, um, you know, there's, there's, I'm sure there will be opportunities where they get to play together, you know, in the near future and, you know, much further down the line as well. Um, you're talking about two of English greatest bowlers and, um, you know, the records that they set will be very difficult for anyone to surpass. So I feel there's a lot of life left in them both. Um, and, you know, you, you add in guys like Jofra, um, Woody, Wokesy, all of these skillful bowlers around them. We're building a very good team and that, that they're both very much at the front of. And plainly, they've got a chance of playing together tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, they have got a chance. Um, you know, as I say, it's a great selection headache to have, is to have all of these bowlers performing, putting in performances and, and giving us real variety so that we feel that we, we can pick a team that best suits the, um, the conditions and the best makeup that we think is going to balance things very well. England's most recent pink ball test saw them bowled out for 58. Uh, India's most recent pink ball test saw them bowled out for 36. How do those experiences affect your thought processes going into another pink ball game? Yeah, I think there's been a trend of the actual, all, all of the pink ball test matches that there have been collapses on occasion. You look at the, the game that we played against the West Indies and, um, you know, there was that collapse in the, in the first innings, I, I think, um, of, of their innings. It, it seems to be a trend and it's something that as a batting group, you need to make sure that you, you stop. And I suppose one thing that stands out to me is that it's the vital first 20 balls, making sure you get used to the tracking the ball, um, get used to the conditions and, you know, being very aware of, of how things can change throughout the day. It's not necessarily just been that one moment under lights or that twilight period that's, that's had that effect. It's sometimes been right at the start of the game, you know, in the morning session, late on in day four, um, that these strange sort of passages of play have happened. So um, I suppose it's when you get that opportunity uh, and, and you're on the right side of it, you're in the field, a ball in hand, you really get on a roll with it. You, you take every opportunity and chance and, and you make that really count in your favour. Similarly, when with a bat in hand, you, you just got to really make sure that those 20 balls you're fighting um, with everything you've got to, to get yourself in, get accustomed to the wicket, the conditions, um, and 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 make sure that you build that partnership, which is so vital. Yours as a batting group has had a few problems against left arm spin, both in the current series and in the recent series against Sri Lanka. So have you worked, so now that you've had these 10 days, have you worked on something specifically to tackle Akshar Patel or someone of that sort? I think we've we've worked very hard as a whole uh, in terms of our batting group. We try to speak about the challenges that this pink ball will represent. That actually it has got quite hard hard seam on it. It seems to stay harder for longer. Not only will that aid the seamers, but I think it will aid the spinners as well. It might give them a little bit more bounce, um, and it might you know it might turn quicker for longer if you like um, with the, with the ball staying a little bit firmer. So it's just being very aware of that. Um, I think. You can get sometimes sucked into those individual uh, battles where you know you get out to one bowler a couple of times and you feel that they've got the wood over you. And actually, you've just got to play what's in front of you. You play the ball. You don't play anything other than that, uh, and, and and have real trust and and clarity in your own game and how you want to score your runs. I think that's the only way that we can look at things. Um, and you know, I have full confidence that we've got a great group of players that are more than capable of scoring runs out here. Okay, so just as a little continuation to that question, so you talked about individual battles and Rishabh Pant versus Jack Leach has been one of the battles of the series so far. So has has this longer gap given you a little more time to actually work on something, on getting him out early and not being able to do as much damage to you? Yeah, well, I think the, the, way, that, uh, the way that that battle finished in the last game was, was probably um, one to Jack. So I, I think he'll gain a lot of confidence from that. And, you know, he's a fine player. He plays some, some extraordinary shots. It makes it very difficult for some bowlers to bowl at him. But more than anything, it's you know, can we, can we keep, keep him quiet? Can we make it difficult for him to, to really take us on um, and find ways of, of either getting him off strike or, you know, chucking one up in the air, running past one like he did in the last game? And, 
you know that with Rish Abbey is extremely talented and he's got a great game, but he will give you a chance. Um, and we just got to be ready to take that when it comes. And just on this stadium, a huge stadium and, and, and the prospect of, of tens of thousand fans in there, what do you make of that? Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's a phenomenal stadium. It, it's, I'm sure it's going, you're going to see some brilliant cricket over the years at this ground. Um, it, it looks fantastic. So hopefully you know, the wicket can um, produce some very good cricket and the two sides can, can do that as well. Um, I'm sure the atmosphere within will be, be electric. It's great to see fans back in. Um, in the previous game. Um, so I'm sure with the capacity of this ground that that noise will go up again. And, you know, that's, that's what you want. You want to be a part of these big games, be playing in these big stadiums and, um, you know, be you know part of history, which is what this game is. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.